Oh, Hudson Soft, you were once a great company, but then Konami had to screw you over. Yeah. May you rest in peace. Render, what is that freaking, like, oh. Huh. Oh, that's cute. Look at all the fairies just is... hanging out with these these two, this random island couple. Is that the uh... Adventure Island guy? Oh. Or... What the? What was that? Don't know, but uh... I'm kind of frightened. What the heck is that forming around her feet? And why am I looking at her and, like, it looks like I can see right through and, oh! Uh-oh! Oh my! Oh, she disappeared! He's, he's like, yeah, I'm bored. You bastard, you took my girlfriend! So what are we gonna do about it? We're gonna play some Adventure Island, that's what we're gonna do. I knew it was Adventure Island, okay, thank you. Master thank Takahashi's you. Adventure Island. I love, I love how like you, I love how you, you could just put start, but no, they put start followed by twelve moon letters. Well, oh, that's Japan for you. But anyway, um, what I'm playing right here is a very special version of Adventure Island that was released in Japan only for the GameCube and PS2 as budget titles. Huh. It's essentially a full. It's pretty much an upscaled remake of the NES original. Huh. Hmm, interesting. With, now, have you ever played uh, Adventure Island or know of it, Jordy? Uh, no, I haven't, honestly. Well, eh. then, the I was gonna say, think of it as, like, the precursor to today's auto runners and endless runners. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, and now on skateboard. Yep, as Master Higgin, he Master Higgins slash Takahashi here, you pretty much just gotta run on a straight path and, uh, avoid all sorts of enemies, grab all the fruit you can so you can stay, stay healthy and fit, and, mm -hmm. um... Skateboard to victory, provided you can find find one. Right, because uh, the because if you don't get those fruit, if I'm correct, that little blue meter in the upper left does steadily go down. I think. Yep, and then eventually Master Higgins will die from hunger. Ah. Because yep. go figure, he's a fat fuck. Aww. Oh look, a watermelon. Oh, that's Everyone's... right. We did. That's right. I didn't know if we did the introductions or not. What introduction? Oh, you mean? Oh yeah. yeah this is a look at and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm Jay's Bay Extreme, obviously. Lucky Jack 20s. Call me Jordan the Cat 11, or Jordy, whichever you prefer. Yay! And this, is, and this is Adventure Island, the Japanese version. And also, think of it as like a remake after that time, we had to stop the recording of Adventure Island number one. Oh, yeah, the new Adventure Island one? That was a long time ago. That was interesting, but it's fine. We're here, and we're doing this one. So. Um, you said that this was part of a package or, like, part of a budget thing. Was this, like, packaged with anything? Uh, yeah, this is actually, well, it wasn't, it wasn't packaged with any other game in particular, but it is part of a series of games. Pretty much a bunch of budgeted tiles as Hudson Soft Raid, which were essentially soft-scale remakes of their, uh, original games. Um, I know that the, um, they did make four of these. Um, the first one... I want to say it was some vertical... Uh, Star Soldier, that's what it was called. Oh, and we got our fairy friend as Invincibility. Nice. Sweet. Ram him. I want to say, I, if I remember correctly, Surface. I want to say the fairy's, the fairy's name is Honey. Aw, that's sweet. And, shockingly, and shockingly enough, she got her own anime series very early on in the series' life cycle. Oh, yeah? Just starring Honey the Fairy? Oh no, it wasn't just her, it was also Master... Uh, it was also Master Higgins, as was a whole bunch of random, real-life people. Think of it like think of it like Sonic X way before Sonic X was a thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, yeah, this is actually the this is actually the fourth um, fourth fourth game in the Hudson Selection series. The first one was Star. The first uh, remake I remember was Star Soldier. The second one was um, it was actually a, a reimagining of a game called Load Runner. Uh huh. I think I remember Load Runner. Uh, the third game will be get well is actually uh, what we'll be getting to after this. Because I actually show off two Hudson Selection games in this in this uh, video. So nice. I'm looking. So I'm looking at the title of the video, and you called it Volume. So is just all of one volume, just Adventure Island, and that's it. Yep. Okay. Volume four is Adventure Island, and um, Volume three, as you see on the title. Well, again, I won't spoil that right away. I'm just kind of surprised they didn't just call it Hudson oh, Selection. Oh. Hudson Selection colon Adventure Island. And because a volume implies more than one type or more than one genre. Ah, crap, I got the eggplant. What happens if you get the eggplant? The eggplant god makes you hungrier. Aww. What is it with Japan and their games and making eggplants evil? Yeah, I mean, look at Wrecking Crew. Nobody liked that Wrecking Crew. Nobody Actually, liked... I can't think of too many people that liked Wrecking Crew. Nobody liked the eggplants in Kid Icarus. 
Oh yeah, because because that because that bastard will turn you into one, and you can do jack shit without going all the way back down and trying to find a nurse. <laughs> out of all the and yet out of all the villains, it was he who had to appear in and Captain M. Yeah, I. That was kind of a weird... Because everyone remembers him, apparently. Not Dracula. Mm. Not freaking... Well, actually, Dracula wasn't uh, Captain N. Oh, okay. And God... And so was Alucard, and holy shit. Talk about a bastardization of, of a character. Oh, man. Take... Take... Take your average, you know, adventurer and combine it with Launchpad from DuckTales. And oh, no, that was... No, no, no. That was Simon Belmont. That was Simon? He, oh, okay. Yeah, Alucard, Alucard suffered even just something just as bad. They turned him into a California surfer. Oh! Alu Alu we're talking about the same Alucard from freaking Symphony of the Night? The very same. Oh, boy. Huh. Now, though, that being said, this was well before uh, Symphony of the Night came to the picture, but still, it's kind of a bastardization regardless. I forget it. I don't know if it was Alucard and Moonlight Sonata. That was the name of the game. Moonlight Sonata. Or, or, or may, I, may, I may be mixing, mixing up. It was the one for Game Boy Advance. Uh, Circle of the Moon? It could have been Circle of the Moon. I'm sorry, yeah. I actually don't... I don't think Alucard was even in that game. There could have been someone maybe named. I don't know. Anyway. I do, but in any case, yeah, now we're in the, cas the castle stage in um, uh, <laughs> Adventure Island. And actually, I'll say this right now. Between this version and the original NES version, this game runs hell of a lot smoother. I like, can see. I actually got got through without dying. It looks a little tricky for me to get the hang of it, especially with how simplistic the backgrounds usually are. Well, to be fair, these are all budgeted titles, so they don't quite look... They aren't exactly the best looking of uh, nice. the GameCube slash PS2 library. And yeah, I'm just gonna stick to the hatchet, just because I think uh, I find that the most reliable uh, offensive weapon. Boss time! Oh. Uh oh. Oh, hello it's... there. Hello, you. Um, like, yeah, this game was certainly something else with its bosses. Like the lion snail wizard. What is up with the snails? Did he? Did he? Oh my goodness! Did you mutate Gary and multiply his clones? No, it's Larry. <laughs> oh yes, it's Larry. Gone berserk. Also, what the heck's happening? Oh. Meow. I always wonder why people like him, why everyone, like, makes the association of lions and fire. Not sure. Hmm, I don't know. Yay, we saved one of our friends. I'm the Snail Fairy. You don't say. Let's go ahead and fix you up. You just All moved the, him two moved feet him out of the way. way. What the fuck? Nice. We did it. What, okay, what, we kind, saved of, a what fairy. kind of smile is that? That was a weird smile. A cheeky half smile because he realized what game we're playing. The funny thing about uh, Higgins here before we end off, he's got a serious upper lip. Or excuse me, lo lower lip. Pretty oh, much boy. kind of thing. He's like one of those, mm, yes. Worse than the Hawaiian punch dude. Which That's I always used to think this guy reminded me of. But anyway. And now for our next game. Logan, you might remember this. Oh god, no. What is that? It. It's bonk. 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 Yep, welcome to PC Genjin, also known as Bonk's Adventure. Oh boy. P Pithankathropus Computerus. <laughs> PlayStation, it's a PC. Yeah, because, because well, obviously he was like the mascot of uh, the TurboGrafx-16 Japan, which was called uh, the PC Engine there. But anyway, yes, we're doing Bonk's Adventure as well, because even though we already did a look at this god knows how long ago, but now we have Jordy here, so hopefully it won't be nearly as repetitive. Hopefully. Oh, but well, she's in for a treat, because Bonk has some of the craziest power-ups and crazy... So it's a typical 2D platformer. You hit things with your head. Oh, boy. It looks pretty Mario-esque. Then you hit these flowers. But, however, um, when you pick up certain food and you get certain power-ups, you can change your appearance in various ways. Also, you can turn like that to extend your jump however you want. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty handy. You know, looks like, oh, I didn't know you could juggle character. Could you do this in the original? Yeah. Wow. Oh, boy. Nice. But with that said, once you hit a brown flower and eat that sack of meat... Whoa! You You're a become... monkey? Yeah. What? You become a little stronger, and you can have a, a ground monkey. Pound. A monkey. Out of, out of all the animals to become strong after eating meat, a monkey... Oh, it gets, oh, gets even more. Dis oh, it gets disgusting if James shows it off later. Oh, of course, I will. It, it gets worse. The way. 
here's another meat. If you eat that, you become Angry Bonk, who is far more powerful. And think of it like your Mario Mushroom. He is very, very irritable. Just don't eat another meat. Don't eat another meat. Okay, then what's you, that you say? Eat, dead. Wait, wait, what's that you say? Eat another meat? No. No, don't eat another meat! Please. Was this the I mean, was this the bonk game that introduced um, the size changing ones, or was that super bonk? That was actually no, it was actually a bonk 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 three bonk's big adventure. Okay, so in this one you That's... only have to worry about the meat. In this one you only have to worry about the meat, and there was another, there was another game where you could actually like you can also climb up balls. There was a, there was another game where you could change your size to go tiny or giant. Yeah, that started in three and uh, super bonk, which we actually did a look at it some time ago with Matt. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Oh look, another peach shake of me, and it's a big one. Uh -oh. Here we go. He's invincible. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Don't make him mad. <laughs> nope. Ooh, oh. Thank boy. gosh, volcanoes are rising from the earth. <laughs> that Ow. one. Ouch. And there, you took a damage. So you go down a rank. <laughs> Just like yeah. Mario. That wasn't so bad. I was expecting the weird lizard, freaking buggy-eyed one. Oh, the one- oh, dude, wait till we get to Bonk Super Genjin 2. Oh, boy. Well, like, could you show me- because I remember seeing that in Super Bonk, and that was creepy. I don't know if yeah. that appears on this one or not. Oh, no, 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 that was- that was Super Bonk. Okay, okay, no, okay, no- no- no terrifying things for today, it's- it One was... thing I noticed- one thing I did notice what about the, the remake of Bonk's adventure- We're on the back of a dinosaur. Oh. Ah. So, did anyone else- make the Joe and Mac comparisons or is, or should we talk about that? Uh well first let's let's take let's get rid of this dinosaur's hat and go inside him. Oh um, you win credits roll. No. <laughs> and by win Munch. you pretty much screwed yourself over. He's like I have made a horrible mistake. Ew This is so <laughs> disgusting. I actually love the he's like I have what if I I did not mean to do this. What am I yeah. swimming in? He, he looks like he's high. High on blood. You don't want to know. But, uh, yeah, the Joe <laughs> and Mac comparisons. I want to say this came out um, before... Oh, the original game came out before Joe and Mac. But I could be wrong there. Alrighty. Oh, the green bell pepper. Oh, we lost oh I forgot the, the onion. onion. Uh -oh. Ah, well. Basically, the, first, the uh, food in this game serves as, as the, this game's uh, star coins from the Mario games. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know exactly what they unlock, and honestly, I'm not going to look into that anytime soon because, Ouch. well, uh, mood speak. That's what swimming sounds like. Prop. The only thing I don't like about the swimming in this game compared to the originals is that you can't really you you can't really do a downward uh, a downward uh, head bonk. Oh well. Well, um, what the heck is this thing? It almost... well, lazily, no, ladies and gentlemen, we went out the poop ship. It almost reminds me of the head of Jack Skellington, except with red eyes and sharper teeth. I gotta get to bed earlier. Whoa, um, hello there, Mr. Barney. Yep, here's our boss, it's Barney! He looks so cute with that skull on, though! Oh, dude, you should have seen what he looked like in the, uh, Turbo Graphics version of the game. Uh -oh. And he throws get lollipops it! at you. <laughs> that is so random. Oh! Oh! oh. Start button. Oh, it's arcadey. Like, okay, that's interesting. Uh -huh. Actually, that, that's actually that's kind of that's something, that's something I actually don't see a lot in gaming nowadays anymore. Now, oops. But yeah, actually, to comment on something earlier, these games were made with the Renderware engine, which some of you might recognize was the basis behind the um, some of the SpongeBob games. Oh, huh. that's how the logo was so familiar to me. Oh, okay. yeah, like, I, it was used in the Battle for Bikini Bottom, among other things. Huh. Right, 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 right. Stop getting too close to him. On. I'm trying to crack that eggshell. Oh! There. You blow it up. There you go. Oh. And he's free. Oh, so he was a good dinosaur, but that weird thing was just hypnotizing him. Gee whiz. Thanks. Thanks. I figured, why not? I feel a lot better. I thought, what's all the question marks? I'm your new friend. Who knows? Or else. Okay. <laughs> arf, arf. <laughs> arf? Who would have thunk that that Japanese, like the wonderful Japanese language we saw up there, translates to "arf arf arf"? What a magical language! That's it. I know, right? 
But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for Hudson Soft, Hudson Selection Volumes 4 and Volume 3. Uh, again, they're only they're Japan only, but I'm pretty sure that you can find them for a pretty cheap price because, again, even at launch, they were discounted games. Like, I want to say you could get them for, like, well, to our equivalent, like, 10, 15 bucks. Hmm. So I think you get get a, get enough bank for your yen or whatever. But with that said, I'm James May Extreme. I'm Lucky Jack Twenty. And I'm Jordan the Cat Eleven. And if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go grab some bleach. Till next time, guys. Bye bye. Later, Gator.